Gun High School. I'm getting baptized today. Um, so unlike all people getting baptized today, I didn't grow up in the church. I actually came here about um, five years ago in seventh grade, and um, I'd never gone to church before. I never really learned what Christianity was about. And my parents both came to faith pretty quickly, and they got baptized within a year or two. But for me, it just took a little bit longer. I didn't really understand what prayer was about, who Jesus was. I didn't understand any of that. So for me, I just came to church, and I didn't really pay attention to anything. And I don't know, since most of you didn't know me when I was younger, I can just tell you that I was and I still am a very stubborn person. Um, so I remember one specific time in fifth grade when I was fighting with my mom about, I don't even remember what anymore. Um, she threatened me by saying like, I wasn't allowed to go to school that day. And for most kids that would have been a good thing and they would have been happy about it. But for me, just because she said I couldn't, I argued with her and I was like, no, I have to go to school. And so this kind of stubbornness, like, I mean, it sounds funny now, but I think it really affected my life because I was too scared to try anything new. I was didn't listen to what my parents told me about what I should do with my life, didn't uh, listen to their suggestions, and I always thought that I had to know everything about something before I could commit to something, and that really just hindered my ability to try new things and uh, meet new people. And um, I think I just realized it was a hindrance about halfway through high school, and I noticed that like I was becoming really deaf to what my parents wanted for me and what um, God wanted for me. And so I first really kind of started understanding who God was at a youth retreat, uh, a few years back, and after talking to some of the girls in my cabin and my small group leader Deborah, and listening to Pastor Rich's sermons, I that was the first time I really truly prayed, and I felt that God was out there and He was listening to me, and I felt comforted that there was something bigger than me that knew more about of my life than I did. And um, I, but I think the real true change af came a little bit afterwards after I saw how uh, God had changed my parents, and uh, really what happened, like after they became closer to God and became stronger in their faith in God, I could see how he was changing their lives, and he changed them to become more patient and understanding, and our relationship as a family became stronger, and I could see how they became truly happy because of their faith in God, and so I was able to open my heart up to how he could change my life too, and because God is so mighty and great, he was able to lead me to discover passion that I never knew I had. Um, a while back, I met a woman who worked at Pixar, and one day she just turned up at our school and she was a guest speaker and it was just totally coincidence that I went there. And through that I was able to kind of explore my options and I was I joined an um, animation team at my school as part of the robotics team. And this was something that I would have never done before. Like the robotics team is extremely intimidating. Like this is why my hair is red. It's not because I'm in part of some weird Asian game or anything. But, um, yeah, so it was just, it was really eye-opening experience to me because I tried something completely out of my comfort zone, completely new, and it was, like genuinely the best experience that I've had in high school. Not because I instantly was really, really good at animation or like <coughs> really liked it. It was hard and it was difficult, but it was just, I was able to finally see what it felt like to be motivated and do something that I love. So I really appreciated that experience. And just overall, I've been able to see the past few uh, years how God has uh, been just so much bigger than what I expected life to be. and. Um, I used to feel, like I said, that I had to know everything about something to, before committing to it, but I just realized now that God can't be put in that box, and I can't know everything about Him, but He's just so great and infinite that I have to trust in Him. And obviously I still have like fears about the future, self-uncertainty, but I'm learning to put my trust in Him. And just recently, you know, with college accepting college decisions and stuff, you know, I that was a difficult time for me because I did get rejected from a lot of my top choices and what I, where I wanted to go. But I think this is an opportunity for me to truly put my trust in God and know that he'll lead me down the path that he desires for me. So I just thank him so much for uh, giving me the people in my life, my family, my friends, and also this church family, just to show me that um, I can, even with all my stubbornness and my uh, selfishness, that uh, he was able to bless me with so much. And I hope that in this next chapter of my life, I can continue to mature and grow and not just you know, serve myself, but also serve others and glorify. Thank you.